Hi, my name is Terry Lee Holm and I'm a member of Local 729 Sign Writers and Set Painters in Southern California and I do the mainstay of my paint work for the movie and TV industry in Hollywood, California. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this DVD before we actually get started on your lesson. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you very much for buying the DVD. Uh, it's my privilege to be your instructor. But also I wanted to, uh, to commend you on trying something new. Just remember that the apprehension that you might feel about this is all because you haven't tried it yet. And as soon as you do try it, well, all the fear is gone. And then you just go and you just get better. I do urge you to uh, watch the DVD in its entirety before you actually um, attempt to do a faux finish. Uh, I do know it's an hour, two hours long. It's, it is long. But you need to have that kind of patience in order to do the faux finish anyway. Every time you watch it, you will learn something then you'll know exactly where your tools need to be, what tools you need, and uh, you'll have kind of a one-up on, on the, the whole process when it's time to actually do the whole thing. You don't want to find out that um, you're in the middle of doing this great faux finish and then all of a sudden you need a tool that you don't have. There are things that are not included in the toolkit that you can get from movie paint, such as uh, plastic wrap. Pretty much everybody has that at home, so we don't put that in the kit, but it's essential to several of the marble type paint jobs. I also want to talk to you a little bit about safety. Whenever you paint, you always want to wear gloves. Now in the DVD, you'll see that I do wear these um, black stretchy gloves. They're made by G-Tech. Those are my favorite, but you can use any kind of gloves, whether they're the, the medical gloves, the, you know, the regular latex ones, or the blue nitrile gloves. Um, but always wear gloves because stuff does sink into your skin, okay? There is one more thing I wanted to say before we get on with our lesson. Um, for the 99.999% of you who bought this because you want to learn something new, again, I applaud you. But for the very small amount of people who think it's okay to put bugs and severed limbs into their fast food in an attempt to get a lot of money out of somebody who didn't deserve to be robbed, uh, this disclaimer is for you. The name of the company is Movie Paint, as in paint. <laughs> this is not a vitamin supplement. It's not uh, a moisturizer. It's not a dessert topping. I really don't want to get a call from someone's attorney saying you didn't make it completely clear to my client that you could not use this as a, uh, a suppository or a toothpaste. If you eat this paint, it'll probably make you sick. might even kill you. If you try to inhale the paint, uh, it'll probably make you sick. It might kill you. If you get it on your skin, it probably won't even burn unless you are sensitive to chemicals. But you never want to get anything on your skin. You never want to eat paint. You never want to inhale paint. You never want to do anything with paint other than paint with it, okay? People, please, be smart. It's paint, okay? Well, with that said, uh, I guess it's time to get on with our lesson, huh? So, put your paint clothes on.